Yeah, okay my friends. 8.30 at night and I don't know if it's a good thing drinking her coffee or not. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm addicted. What can I say? I'll be up all night and that gives me a reason to continue working on my Mustang group build there. Yes, a continuation on the Mustang group build put on by Scale Speedworks there. Uh, Mike, well done. I see a lot of others out there doing this kit. So mine is just one of, I don't know, a hundred? Who knows how many? I didn't count. But it's been fun building this car. I can't stop building this car. And I have to because I got to... April is supposed to be the reveal. And it's coming along better than what I thought. Um, but that's okay. Today, uh, maybe I'll search through my stash and see what the next build will be and see what you guys think. But for now, after this intro, I'll get back on the bench and we'll go over things. Okay, now that we got the big intro out of the way, chuck it out, chuck it out. This is what I mean, we've got to stop building it because I'm in the final stages of fitment. And yes, I should have did my fitment before I painted and primed everything. That was a little bit my mistake. That's okay, I, I didn't know where this car would go. This slowly formed the theme as I began building it. So that's okay, I didn't plan it as good as what I should have planned. Now Chuck stop sniffing the glue. Let's put that aside. Oh yeah, before I do my unveil I'll clean off my ugly messy bench. Look at whittled plastic everywhere and yeah that full cup of coffee is there. Anyhow, um, engine is in there. Man this thing I can when I put the chassis up into the body it, it I have to open those fender wells up. I have to squeeze them apart to get that in there. So that is a little tricky thing. Uh, some hood fitment issues I, I, and some body work to do a little bit. And I noticed one more a little bit there. Just a hair. The other side I think was good. So other than that we seem to be fine. And you, I don't know if this picks it up. But there's a little marking on the fender right about there you probably can't see it but it looks like an emblem I think this kit used to be a regular Mustang kit with the 289 V emblem on it and they took the molding and grinded it off and it's still just slightly visible in the primer actually but hopefully if I sand it out you won't see anything there I guess it doesn't matter it's nothing fancy this car uh, chassis is fitting really nice look at the bottom wow that is impressive. Um, I'm happy with that. Uh, still some touch-ups to do. The other thing I was doing, I, was, I thought, oh, you know what? That that right there is a tack, tachometer. And I thought about putting that in the dash right in between the recess there. Because being a factory drag car, that's my theme on it. A tack is needed. And these two pieces were actually uh, together, and I took my snippers and snipped them off. And this thing went flying across the room and landed wherever, and took me like five minutes to find it, believe it or not. You know, missing parts when you cut things off. Um, I took a look at it, I'm going, what the hell is this 85? Is that for, for the uh, engine compartment bracing? So I looked it up in my parts guide, and here's what... I came upon and I never look at instructions so this was a surprise and I looked 8485 no such thing as an 85 so what the hell is that then I'm racking my brain for about a minute actually it was only about 10 seconds and it came up with I remember the first edition Shelby Cobras or Shelby Mustangs GT350 had torque uh, torque control rods and I think that's what it is. Maybe that's for uh, the, the a different kit uh, that got added into this kit. 
So I think they go here, um, like that. I'm pretty sure of it. That goes there, because I recall features that some of the frame was notched out, or the floor pan was notched out to fit these torque rods in there. Oh, I got them backwards, sorry. It would go like this. And where they mount, maybe to the shock or something, I'm thinking. Something like that. So I'm going to add those. Because being a drag car, we need some kind of torque control arms. So see what I mean? I should have laid this plan out a little better in the beginning. But you know what? Like I say, I barely look at the instructions anymore. I just kind of go as I feel it and how the kit looks, what the parts look like to me and from actual real building hot rods and cars. Anyhow, I'm doing a lot of blah, blah, blah. Uh, I am going to... I noticed... The old style um, uh, tacks were chrome, so I think I might replicate that. I'll use my chrome stick on that. Oh, here's one of the other things I gotta check. Um, I didn't re I didn't know if I had to glue this rad support on before I glue uh, before I assembled the body or uh, or after, and I can put it on after it's all together. So that's a good thing. Now the air intakes are another thing. The uh, factory FX cars and that used air intakes. These are actually off the Galaxy kit that we're adapting onto the Mustang. So, the, gonna have to do some fitment there. See? So, that's what I mean. I'm doing final fitments. And this one will go here. So, it doesn't get air cleaners, it gets these air ducting. So, that's what I'll be looking at there. So. In saying that, I'm going to whittle away and we'll come back and see where we're at. Thank you much, Lee, for watching. Okie dokie, yogis. I'm slowly whittling away at things. I've got my air intake hoses mocked up to where I think they will work. And they're not going to go gloss black. Sorry, burping and talking at the same time. Uh, they're going to go like a semi-gloss black. So I think I'm finished on my setups there so I can take the body off the chassis and do some chassis work. Speaking of chassis work, I did the springs, I put the silver over the blue shocks. So that looks that looks cool. I like it. I don't know how it comes in. And this little bastard, this thing pissed me off because as I was trying to put it in my clippers to clamp it down, it freaking decided to go spring out somewhere and I thought it was on the bed but I found it on the floor and uh, yeah so it took 10 minutes to find it you know little parts you guys been there so I did the black face on the inside and then I took my chrome marker pen and did the chrome around it so that will get glued on to there later on after that dries for a good day I'll wash my brush what else are we doing um, yeah Let's take this apart because I think, whoops, don't have to take it apart. It's falling apart, Chuck. Um, I'm going to sand off my little divots on the body and we'll continue small details on the suspension. So, many, many minutes later. Okay, yeah, well, you know, a uh, few more things to do before I take the body off of the chassis and that is get my wheel placements fit in. Now these wheels are tucked out a little bit too much because look at the back spacing on that. So we're going to whittle that down. You got that much I can whittle down to its flat. So I'm going to be able to tuck it in that much deeper. Which means now I got a big pile of plastic that looks like cocaine and sorry kids, no, I'm, I'm not a co cocaine fiend. Plastic fiend maybe. Oh, you know what? That gives me an idea. I should go get a straw and uh, that would make a good opening. Uh, b bad idea? I don't know. So now that I've filed that down flat, look how much inset difference that's going to make. Quite a lot. So awesome, awesome, awesome. And where's my backings? Here's a backing. I got it right here. My backings I can't sand down because that clip is w the end of the line there. So that will go in there rather than sticking way out. So there we go. That is the mock-up. The tire's in there just about perfectly. So that, I like that. I like that. So that's what you'll see. So 
awesome awesome it takes a bit of time whittling that down using sandpaper paper method it's gonna say sand pepper but uh you know what i can sit and watch the football game being a sunday and just kind of yeah slowly go along here many many minutes later look at that wow this is uh <laughs> quite a pile of plastic holy crap and it took way longer than i expected that's okay i am in no hurry to get this done so i got all my rims done so I'll be able to tuck them into the wheel wells the way I want them. So this video is probably more longer than what I expected and wanted. So I think we're better off calling it quicks. Calling it quits. See, I'm getting tired. It's one o'clock at night. Actually, it's after one o'clock. So. so that means we should probably end things by saying, Hey, my friends, it's time to say cheers. You know what? This looks more like whiskey than beer. So, cherry cola. It smells, I don't even know. It smells like those bottle caps. You remember those candies? Uh, cherry bottle cap and they had different kind of whatever. Anyways, now see? Now blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's sour. But good. Mm, not bad. We'll take it. See you next time, my friends. Stay awesome until next video. Appreciate it for you making it this far in the video. Later.